I don't have to review that entire history, but an important part of it begins in the 1990s during the Clinton administration when the People's Mojahedin Organization of Iran, also known as MEK, was designated by the Secretary of State under U.S. law as a foreign terrorist organization. That designation continues to this, this day. It continues to be, as it was then, unjustified. The MEK is an organization of Iranians, both inside Iran and outside Iran, that opposes the current regime, favors government in Iran that is organized along democratic, secular, non-nuclear lines, a democratic, secular, non-nuclear republic. And I should add, this is not one of the few organizations of Iranians that fits that description. It is, in point of fact, the only one. It is certainly helpful for MEK to remain a bone in the, throat, in the throat of Iran and a diversion to the regime because of its potential to undermine the regime. But the MEK has been a lot more than just a bone in the throat. It has provided valuable information and intelligence on the Iranian nuclear program to the United States. It is fair to say that the United States would not have known a great deal of what it does know now about the Iranian nuclear program without information obtained by MEK, including, but certainly not limited, to the nuclear facilities at Tar uh, Natanz and Iraq, the disclosure of which led to the beginning of pressure on Iran that arises from what is obviously a nuclear weapons program. It's pretty openly acknowledged that the reason MEK was placed on the list during the Clinton administration was to curry favor with Iran and to use the designation as a way of entering into dialogue with the Iranian regime. And I'm sorry to say that even during the administration that I served in, we kept it on the list of designated organizations, uh, which, by the way, includes the, the IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Guard Corps, out of fear that if MEK were removed from the list, the Iranians would provide insurgents with weapons in, 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 in Iraq, including IEDs. Well, of course, they're doing that anyway. These are very misguided reasons for continuing to brand as terrorists a group of people who, so far as anyone can tell, are interested only in bringing to their country the same benefits of freedom that we have. And also, it doesn't work. The Iranian regime is now in the enviable position of having the United States designate as a terrorist organization a group of Iranians who are a threat to that regime and of limiting that group's activities 